I'm Tom Arbuthnot, Principal Solutions Architect at Modality Systems, and today we're going to be going through Skype for Business, Cloud PBX, and what are your deployment options. So recently there's been a, a new bunch of options for deploying Skype for Business, and they're referred to as Cloud PBX. And we can kind of break those options down into four boxes. So first we've got 100% on-premise server. So if you've been in the traditional Skype world, that's what you're probably used to. Next, we've got the whole new world of Skype for Business Online, and you can have 100% Skype for Business Cloud PBX in Office 365, and you can have Microsoft as your carrier. Also, we've got two hybrids. We've got Skype for Business Online with Cloud Connector Edition, and we've got Skype for Business Online alongside server. So what we're gonna to do today is go through those options and try and understand them a little bit. So first off, this is, if you've been in the Skype for Business space, this might be what you know already. This is 100% on customer premise server. So if you had Office Communication Server, Link Server 2010, Link Server 2013, or Skype for Business Server 2015, this is probably what you have. You have servers in your data center, you have gateways, you have edge servers connecting you to the internet, and you have maybe some trusted applications, some contact center or some kind of third party routing. Uh, that is the model that up until around December last year was the default if you wanted what we call enterprise voice. So the ability to have a Skype for business phone and make and receive PSTN phone calls. What's changed and what's exciting is now you can have that ability but in Office 365. So you can buy it from Microsoft as a service. So in this model, we have nothing on customer premise at all. We have an internet connection or a dedicated connection to Microsoft called Express Routes. We have all of our services in Office 365, so Microsoft run them for us, and we have Microsoft as a carrier. So they're providing our phone numbers, they're the equivalent of our PSTN carrier in the traditional server world. This model has the benefit of Microsoft running everything for you in terms of the core services. They're taking care of the patching, they're taking care of the management, they're putting new features in month on month. So there's a lot of benefit to going the cloud approach in terms of what you have to manage and the features you get, and also the investment and the cost. At the moment, Microsoft provide PSDN calling, their carrier services, in the US and the UK. So if you're anywhere else in the world, you can't go 100% cloud model yet. So what do you do if you want to leverage the cloud, but you don't want Microsoft PSDN conferencing or calling, or potentially you live outside or have users outside of the US and the UK? Well, that takes you into the hybrid models. So the first hybrid model is a Cloud Connector Edition. And we kind of informally refer to that as bring your own PSDN. So I'm sticking all my users and all my services into the Office 365 Cloud. Microsoft run all of that for me. But let's say I've got users in France or Germany or Italy or anywhere else that's not the UK or the US. How do I give those guys phone numbers? Well, the answer is you can have Cloud Connector Edition which is a set of virtual machines you download from Microsoft. You install those on a server, you pair those up with a gateway, and you bring your own carrier. So you bring your BT or your Pure IP or your Level 3 or your Verizon, whoever it is, any carrier, it connects to a standards-based gateway, and your PSDN calls go out this gateway and onto the PSDN carrier, and all your conferencing and other services are held in Office 365. And you can mix and match the two. So you might have some users, let's say I've got London, I've got New York, and I've got France. London and New York, they can run off of the pure cloud model. So they could have all their services and their PSDN in the cloud. But France, we don't have Microsoft PSDN calling yet in the cloud. So in France, we might have a cloud connector edition and a gateway, and we have a local French carrier. And that's still leveraging all of the benefit of the cloud where we can, but bring our own PSDN where we can't. The final model is kind of mixing the traditional server world and the new cloud world. So in this model, I have some users in Office 365 and they're getting all their services from Office 365. And I have some users running on Skype for Business Server. 
and this is generally referred to as hybrid or server hybrid. So in this model, rather than using Cloud Connector Edition, we're using a fully-fledged Skype business server to do our PSDN break-in and break-out for the Office 365 users, but we also have some users homed exclusively on server. The benefit of this model is we can take advantage of Office 365 and Skype Business Online where it makes sense for us, where the features meet the business requirements. But if I have some requirements for users that don't fit the cloud today, for example, call recording or contact center, today those aren't in Skype Business Online, but they are on server. I can have a server set up and I can have my contact center and my call recording and have those users on server. And I can have my remaining knowledge workers in Office 365 Cloud and they all work seamlessly together. Same address book, same domain, same user experience. I can also move users back and forward between the two systems. So as the cloud services iterate on features, month on month we get new features in Skype Business Online Cloud PBX. It might be that a bunch of knowledge workers that were blocked because they needed response groups or hunt groups, for example, which is coming very soon, as soon as the hunt groups come, I can just do a move user from here to here, their buddy list follow across, and they go into the cloud. The downside of this model is you're still running server, so you still have some infrastructure to manage yourselves as well as the cloud infrastructure, um, but it does give the maximum flexibility. And one option, if you're looking at options to reduce your overall infrastructure, is to look to partners who can help you manage and host that server infrastructure. So even though it's not cloud from Microsoft, potentially you can have that infrastructure hosted from a partner. Modality Systems, for example, do that type of hosting. You can have no infrastructure on your premise and we'll run the server infrastructure for you. So just to summarize, you've got four major deployment options to choose from depending on your business requirements. You can go 100% on-premise server and that's a model that continues to be supported and might meet your business requirements. You can go 100% cloud, particularly if you're in the US or the UK, and take advantage of Microsoft PSD and calling. Or you can mix the two. You can go Skype Business Online with Cloud Connector Edition and bring your own PSDN. Or you can go hybrid with server and have all the server abilities and all the cloud abilities and mix and match where your users go depending on the business requirements. Thanks for listening.